Hello friends, my name is Pratik and welcome back to my channel. So guys, in today's video, we are going to see that if you are using Kotak Bank application and if you want to transfer money through IMPS, then what are the steps involved in that that I'm going to explain. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. To transfer money through IMPS in Kotak Bank application, you have to open the application first. Once the application is completely started, this is the kind of interface you will be able to see on your mobile screen. Now, there is no direct option of IMPS on the home screen itself. As you can see, there are multiple options over here on the top. You can check out your balance and you have option to transfer money. You can check account details and all. But there is no direct option of IMPS, but you have to select transfer money option on the top. Also, you can check you have transfer money option in pay and transfer. So you can select either of one. So we are going to select this one over here. And if we click on transfer money, we have to enter six digit MP over here to go forward. So we'll do that. Once you enter the MP successfully, we are on the next page. And on this page, you can see multiple things like send money, scan pay, receive money, bill pay and recharge and beneficiaries and UPI ID. So you have to click on send money over here. After that, you get multiple options on the screen, but you have to select one time transfer. After selecting one time transfer, we are on the next page right now. And on this page, you can see, uh, you know, see three options over here, account number, unified payment interface and repeat transaction. So you can select any one of these options. So if you are doing an IMPS uh, transaction to some other account for the first time, so you can select account number. If you want to transfer money through UPI, you can select the second option. And if you want to repeat any uh, previous transaction, you can click on repeat transaction over here. So I'm going to click on account number. After entering account number, we are on the next page. And on this page, you can check out your account number, your name, your account type. You can check out your balance. And then you have to enter the details of the person to whom you want to transfer the amount. So you have to select that person's bank. For example, I'm going to show you. Like if I want to transfer in Indus and Bank, I have selected Indus and Bank. Below that, you have an option to enter IFSC code. You have to enter IFSC code over here. So I'll do that very quickly. After entering IFSC code over here, below you have to enter account details. So you have to enter account number, confirm account number. You can select account type. You have to enter beneficiary name and then you have to enter amount at the bottom. So we'll do that very quickly. So now you can see all the details are entered properly. I have selected the bank. I have entered the IFSC code. I have entered the account number over here. Account type is also entered person's name. And at the bottom, you can see amount is entered. And in remarks, you can enter whatever you want. So I'm doing this for testing purpose. So I've entered test over there. So once everything is done, you have to click on continue. So now we are on the next page and on this page, you can see there are three options. One is IMPS option over here. So this is the IMPS process. So you can select IMPS option over here if you want to transfer money through IMPS. Now, if you want to transfer money through NEFT, then you can select one time NEFT option. And if you want to schedule this payment, then you can select last option, which is schedule a payment. So we are going to, uh, you know, transfer money through IMPS. So IMPS is already selected over here. And once you verify all the details, you have to click on continue. Now we are on the last page and on this page, you can check all the details. You can check your account number, your name, your balance and the person's account details to whom you are transferring the amount. You can check out the amount and after the amount is debited, what is the balanced amount remaining in your current account, uh, which is given above that is given over here. So once you verify each and everything, you can click on confirm and pay option. So I'm doing that now. To complete the transaction, you have to enter your M pin over here. So I'm going to do that. So now you can see we are on the next page and payment is successfully transferred to the desired account. So you can check out the reference number on this page. You can check out the date and time of the transaction. You can check out the amount. And now you can see I've also received the bank uh, message from here that the 5000 rupees transaction has been done. So I'll remove that. And you have multiple details on this uh, page. So the payment is successful. So these are the simple steps which you have to follow if you want to transfer money through IMPS in Kotak Bank application. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. If you like this video, 
hit that like button if you find this video informative share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this so i will see you all in the next one thank you